what we saw was people in the community that were terrified um, from both the seasonal and full-time perspective reacting very viscerally. The seasonals, you know, saying, I've got a right to be here. I pay taxes just like everybody else. True, they do. And the full-time residents saying, I want to feel more protected and you know, the fewer people around me, the more protected I'm going to feel. And I want to be able to go buy the groceries the way I always bought the groceries. And now this, that, and the other is not at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And that's because more people are around. Also true. So, you know, I don't think there was a, a, a right answer. And I, I kind of replay that moment. And I don't think I'd do anything differently. Yeah, I picked up the phone and I called the premier and I said, you know what? This is an unanticipated situation where there's a ton of people flocking up here. It's spring. Nobody was kind of prepared for that from a vendor standpoint, at least for the first little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and from a contractor standpoint, and even from a seasonal resident standpoint, where they had winterized places that they you know, needed or wanted open immediately. And they're just, you know, no one was prepared for that kind of influx. So there were definitely additional pressures on the community. But yeah, I mean, what didn't help was social media, to be quite frank, um, and the perversion of the message that happens within social media. Um, so I became a bad guy that was, you know, kind of standing out in the highway with my arms crossed with, you know, telling people not to come here, which, which wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. But we did make it clear that, again, you got a choice, try and exercise that choice. Some people told me, well, if I get sick, I'm going to go home. Great. Maybe you won't have that choice depending on how sick you are. Yeah. Right. And maybe you end up in our local facility. So, you know, wishing everybody the best, um, but recognize at the time that everyone was motivated by fear. Uh, so I don't take any of it personally, although I'm still getting hate mail about it uh, as recently as two weeks ago. Um, but, you know, that's the decision I needed to make as a community leader um, to try and keep the most people safe possible, both the ones that are here on a seasonal basis and may not have been here when COVID started and the ones that are here on a full time basis.